Hello and welcome to the Ink Expert Sublimation Academy. Today we're setting up an ICC profile for Rico and Sawgrass printers in Photoshop on Windows 10. In this tutorial we'll be looking at setting up a Sawgrass or a Rico printer with Photoshop on Windows 10. Now, the Sawgrass and the Rico printers are based on the same basic design. The Rico SG3110 is the base model for an SG400. So the setup on these is exactly the same. So what we're going to do is open up our test image in Photoshop. This is all sized and ready to print. Now the thing with Sawgrass and Rico printers, you cannot mirror flip the image in the printer's driver. So we have to do that manually in the image editing software. In Photoshop, we go to image, image rotation, and then click flip canvas horizontal. This will mirror flip the image for us ready for printing. With that done, we'll next go to file and print. Now we're using the Sawgrass SG400 printer in this demonstration. We're going to need to change our color handling from printer manager's colors to Photoshop manager's colors. And this will then allow us to use the drop down menu underneath. And in this drop down menu, we'll need to select the printer profile that we've downloaded from Ink Experts. In our case, the printer profile is the Ink Experts Sawgrass SG400 Sublinova style. With that selected, the last thing we need to do on this page is set up our rendering intent. At Ink Experts, we recommend Perceptual, as this gives a more natural tone. But all of the options in here will change the way your final image looks. For instance, Relative Colour Metric will give you a much more punchy and vibrant colour. So do play around with these just to see which suits your design best. I'll leave this on Perceptual for now. Now we need to go to our print settings and set up our paper type. With the print driver window open, we need to go to detailed settings across the top tab. In here, in this menu, we need to click paper and we need to change our paper type from plain paper to glossy paper. Next, we'll scroll across and we next need to change our print quality from what is usually speed priority to quality priority. As you can see, it's already selected here, but we'll keep that there anyway. The last thing is making sure our color profile is switched off. With our color profile off in the print driver, all color handling is handled by Photoshop, which is what we want. And with that done, we click OK. Everything is set to print. We click print and that will push it through to our printer and the final image will print out ready for pressing. Thanks for watching this video. For more, please visit inkexperts.co.uk forward slash sublimation academy and don't forget to like and subscribe.